Hey, how's it going? So what we want to do is we want to find how many valence electrons does the neutral atom of these elements have. And notice how I emphasize the word neutral atoms. And the reason being is because if we um, look up how many protons this have, for example, argon, let's go with argon. Argon has 18 protons. I'll show it to you right here. It is right over, there it is. Argon, it's got a atomic number of 18, which basically is telling me that there's 18 protons. Now, there would be 18 electrons if this is a neutral element, and this is. This is a neutral atom that we're talking about. So I can assume that that was his sneaky way or my sneaky way of telling me that there's 18 electrons that we're dealing with here. Now, if this were an ion, then it would have a mismatch number of electrons. And so you would have 19 electrons or 17 electrons or something that's not exactly balanced. But we told, we said, hey, there's 18 electrons, there's 18 uh, protons. We know that this is argon, you know, the neutral element. And in that case, what we do is we kind of write out our thing. So it goes, um, well, I wish I had that periodic table real close because... That was always helpful. And let's see, I'm going to write it out as 1s, then I got 2s, 3s, or 2p, 3s, 4p. All right, so it's. One s, two s, three s, three, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it goes one s, two s, two p. 3s, 3p. And this can have up to two. All the s's can have twos and all the p's can have six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, the if I were to do the electron configuration for this, I would just say, all right, well, that's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s2. How many electrons am I dealing with so far? So I've got 2, 4, that's 10, that's 12, and I need to get up to 18, right? So I need to go another 6. So then that's 3p6. Hey, guess what? I'm done because I've accounted for all the electrons in all of these different things. If I were wanted to abbreviate this, I would say, all right, well, see up until this point right here, if I were to just write out the electron configuration for neon, that would give me um, that for those first three things that I showed you, this guy right here. So if I want to abbreviate this, I would write it out as neon and then 3s2, 3p6. Now the question is how many valence electrons? And the answer is the number of valence electrons. Let's see, let me read off. Valence electrons are, mm, let's see, the electrons in the outermost level and they are not necessarily the last electrons to fill up the orbital, but rather they're the uh, electrons that have the highest principal quantum numbers. So these electrons will occupy the highest number of S and P levels. Um, and so you kind of skip over the D and the F sublevels. So let me show you basically how this works. Um, essentially, how many electrons are on the S and P levels? Well, that's eight valence electrons. Now, this one's a little weird because to me, valence electrons are anything that's greater than eight or um, less than eight, actually, because valence electrons are the electrons on the outside. So if I were to write, draw out this, this thing right here, I've got argon, and I know that my 1s shell can hold two. I don't know my 2s shell can hold um, two. And then I've got another, the P shell will hold another six, six or six. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then I've got my three shell, which holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And essentially, the valence electrons is all of the uh, electrons that are on the out, outermost shell. Now, in this case, the outermost shell. Is um, is this one right here, and it has eight valence electrons. I guess the thing that I'm trying to say here is, honestly, I would say that this has zero valence electrons. It doesn't have eight valence electrons because it has eight in its outer shell, and it's happy. 
the the counter kind of resets at it goes one valence electron two three four five six seven and eight or zero because at that point the 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 uh, element is happy and it has eight electrons in its outermost shell um let's try nickel so nickel is um 28 protons if you want i can show it to you it's up here 28 for nickel so nickel has 28 protons which leads me to believe that it has 28 electrons mainly because i'm um i i'm dealing with a neutral element and then i'm going to do it the lazy way here let's see nickel i can start at argon so i can assume that it has the electron configuration of argon plus a 4s2 plus a 3d and this is one two three four five six seven eight so i'm going to go with a oh no no, no. one two three four five six seven eight yeah hmm. um 3d eight yeah 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 i don't know why i'm confused all right so i've got argon and then a 4s2 and a 3d8 now one would say hmm the outermost shell has um uh 10 valence electrons because there's two here and there's the eight here but remember the d sub levels don't count because they're not uh, uh occupying the outermost principal energy level in our case the outermost principal energy level is the three and so essentially or i'm sorry the four and so essentially we only have in our outermost level two so in this case there are let me just confirm that that i'm not talking crazy here even though there's a, yeah that's what i said there's two there's two valence electrons in this element right here 